Hi guys, so tonight for dinner we are having crock pot ziti. So I'm gonna get ready to make that. Um, I'm sorry if there's a little bit of noise in the background. Tucker is watching Netflix and playing on his iPad at the same time. So I just have to overlook that, I guess. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So the first thing it says to do in the recipe is to take ricotta cheese, which we um, actually bought too big of a container. So I'm gonna put some of it in a measuring cup. I'm gonna measure it out and use like two cups of this because this is four cups. And you're only supposed to use 15 ounces. So I'm just gonna take out two cups or like half the container. And then you're gonna put two eggs in there and you're gonna mix them together. And then after that, it says to use basil, which I don't have any of. Um, we do have, we were, well, we thought we had dried basil, but I can't find it. Um, and I didn't buy fresh basil, so I'm just gonna have to leave that part out. But it'll be okay. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to mix the ricotta and the egg together really good. The next thing I'm going to do is um, mix together our 
pasta sauce and the tomato sauce that we got um and then and then i'll show you what i do after that recipe says to do is to spray your crock pot with cooking spray so I have this kind I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and then I'll show you the rest of it in just a second So the next step in the recipe says to measure out two cup, two and one third cups of your sauce, and then you're gonna pour that into the bottom of your crock pot. And then after that, you're gonna measure your pasta into three equal parts and add one third of it to the top of the sauce. Okay, I've got my measuring cups. This one holds two cups and this one holds one third. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill those up and then I wanna put them in to the crock pot. I'm gonna use a big spoon.
I've got the sauce in the crock pot now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the penne pasta into the crock pot. Okay, and it says the next thing you want to do is to add um, half of your ricotta and egg mixture. And it says you can either dollop this on as pictured. It has a picture like that. Or you can spread it in an even layer. Um, I'll probably just um, scoop it into little dollops because it says it's easier to do it that way. I think it would be easier to do it that way. It says to add half of your Parmesan. what it looks like so far okay and then it says says to add another two and one third cup of your pasta sauce on top of that okay so i've added the second layer of pasta sauce so now i'm gonna go ahead and add some more um of the pasta and after you put more pasta then you're supposed to put the other half of your ricotta and egg mixture on top of that. Next you're going to add the rest of your parmesan. And then you're going to put the rest of your noodles on top of that. Add the rest of your sauce on top of that. It says to spread it out as evenly as you can so that the noodles on top cook properly. Then you put the lid on top and cook it on high for 2 hours and 15 minutes. So they also say that they have tried cooking it for 2.5 hours and then the noodles get too soft. So I'm going to go ahead and... Turn the crock pot on 
high and set a timer for two hours and 15 minutes. And then right before you take it out of the crock pot, you'll put mozzarella or whatever kind of cheese you like. That's what we have is mozzarella. So whenever it's done, you just put that on top, let it melt, and then it's good to go.